Back in 2016, Tesla unveiled the Model 3, the company's first real shot at a mass market vehicle. This car was the holy grail of electric vehicles. It offered great range and great performance at a great price. It was so popular, in fact, that on the day of the unveil, Tesla generated more than 115,000 reservations sight unseen before the car was shown. And within a few weeks, Tesla generated over 500,000 reservations before the product started hitting the streets. It was deemed as one of the most successful product launches in history. Tesla's breakthrough was the engineering of next generation battery and drivetrain technologies, as well as manufacturing techniques that were only applicable to electric vehicles. These breakthroughs allowed the company to reach consistent profitability by 2019, which has made it one of the most valuable companies in the world in 2024 with a $600 billion valuation as of today. However, even with Tesla's ability to design the most elegant battery, drivetrain, and manufacturing system in the world, the company was still on a fast track to bankruptcy back during Model 3 production hell, and the reason why was scale. Without enough cars being pumped through the factory, Tesla was unable to properly spread out the costs of manufacturing across the fleet. Let me explain with an example from the car manufacturing world. Imagine it takes $1 million to manufacture cars, regardless of how many materials you push through the factory. Now imagine you are selling this car for $50,000 each, and you are only able to make 10 cars. If we take the original $1 million of cost and divide it by 10 cars, that means each car costs $100,000 to make. That also means that you are losing $50,000 per car because you are selling it for $50,000 less than it costs you to make. However, if you're able to pump 100 cars through that same factory, now your cost to make each car goes down to $10,000, which means you are now making $40,000 per car. This is how car factories work in a very simplified way. But the key takeaway here is that even though you may have solved for the best way to make a car at the cheapest costs, you still need to crank out enough vehicles in order to make a profit and keep the company alive. This is very similar to what is happening with Tesla's AI-based self-driving solution with FSD version 12. Tesla's breakthrough with FSD V12 is that they've designed an AI system to analyze video of their cars driving around and automatically generate quote unquote code to tell the car what to do in every situation. What this means is that humans are no longer needed to write code that tells the car what to do. They just need to collect a gigantic amount of video data to feed the AI so that the AI can generate code for every situation on the road. Elon Musk's demo on his profile page from Friday, August 25th, 2023 shows a system that used AI code to drive around Palo Alto in California. The system performed just as good, if not better, than the current human code written versions on the streets today. However, it wasn't without fault. There are still situations where the system acted incorrectly. And the fix is the same as it was with the Model 3, and that fix is scale. What Tesla has to do moving forward is generate a gargantuan amount of video data for the AI system to process using its fleet of 4 million plus cars and growing. It also needs to exponentially beef up its ability to process this data by buying a boatload of NVIDIA H100 chips and ramp up the manufacturing of its in-house Dojo compute clusters. Think of it as Tesla's homemade H100 chip. All that is needed now is scale. Just like the Model 3 back in 2016, the speed at which Tesla is able to collect video from its fleet and ramp its compute power will dictate how quickly self-driving will be available for the masses globally. Tesla has already built the cars that have the hardware that can drive themselves. Almost every Tesla on the road right now has the 8 camera plus computer system that the AI system will use to tell the car what to do. Tesla has already built the AI that can process the video to tell the car what to do in every road situation. Now Tesla needs the scale to process the growing video feed from its growing fleet of cars as quickly as possible, but it no longer requires a breakthrough. It's all about pumping a ton of data through an AI system, not very different from pumping a bunch of materials through a car factory. It's funny how history repeats itself. If you found this video of value and would like to see more content on Elon Musk, Tesla, or FSD, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you found this video interesting, you'll love this deep dive on FSD v12. Thank you so much for watching.